it's Friday afternoon. We are off to tag tomorrow. So second event of the year, 2020. And it is Foxy's second event ever. So we're having a quick ride. Very disorganized today. I have new working student, Amber, who's behind me there. She's walking jet. We've cleaned tack. We had a bit of a like a casual sort of almost day off today. Clean the tack, clean the boots, done pretty much nothing else. So quickly gonna whiz through my dressage test on Foxy. Hopefully we won't have to ride it very long. And then Amber's gonna feed while I plait. Quickly pack everything. We've only got dressage tomorrow, which makes it super easy. So we're gonna try and remember to vlog. I'm a little bit out of practice, but hopefully it'll be a really fun weekend. For those of you that don't know, my mum had open heart surgery last week. So she's home and she's not really meant to be left on her own. So pretty much after we've done dressage, we're gonna whiz around the cross country a few times, maybe with some of the students and show Amber what eventing's all about, because she's very keen bean. And then come home, we've got a couple of horses that we need to ride and get everything packed for the day of jumping. So pretty easy tomorrow or the whole weekend actually, because it's only Foxy in the 18. So easy weekend. is meant to be his second last walk session Hi. this is this is uh we're gonna we're trying i'm trying to remember to vlog this weekend so i'm just showing you doing jets rehab do, 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 do. So we had our ride. Foxy was a bit of a grumpy mood. She is in a foul mood tonight. Just trying to wash her. She nearly kicked me in the head a few times. Oh, look how cute. Hi, mommy. Meow. Oh, just showing up our mess, are you? That's nice of you. So anyway, uh, okay, Foxy's massage pad is half on. I got a bit, I suddenly thought, oh, better vlog. So uh, trimmed a little mane. She's had a bit of a wash in a minute. The mane's gonna be over here. We're gonna start off with this, and I will come back to you in a mo. Well, it's gonna seem like a mo to you guys. After I've planted her, and I wanna hurry up because in an ideal world, I'd be done by the time Amber's finished. But there's this, oh my God. Like, what is this? Anyway, we'll do something with it. It is, oh my God, it's late. I need to hurry up. Okay, I'll uh, show you the end result. These are literally the worst plaits I have ever done. I, oh, I'm quite anal about plaits and I just don't know if I can deal with it, but it's pretty late. We're on, not too early, but we've got to feed, so we've got to get up at like four. I just, I can't redo them. Basically, she's rubbed a bit of mane, so some is really thin. So they're teeny weeny. And then their golf balls. So like teeny weeny the golf balls. And okay, this far away, they don't look that bad. But if you go really close, oh my God. Fox said, what are you doing? I'm actually ashamed. And I think they're all gonna come out overnight. And I trimmed her mane because I like a um, short maned plait. But that is because I'm used to horses with like Halo and Jet literally had the perfect manes, like perfect thickness. Foxy's normally is thick, apart from the bit that she's rubbed out. They actually don't look too bad if you're standing far away. So hopefully they'll stay in. She's really silky smooth. That was another boo-boo. I washed her with the amino gloss and I washed her mane. And then I didn't have any planning wax. Anyway, I'm going to put a lycra on. I'm just going to run away. I'm just not going to care. She's going out in the paddock and I'm going to shove the last few things in the car, go and put the oven on, make some pizza for Amber and me, and we're going to go to bed. I just think I need to sort the rest out in the morning. I'm so out of it. What the hell do you take a venting? Anyway, numbers are on the bridle. We've got the bridle and the saddle and the girth in. Long boots done. That's all clean. So hopefully... Everything else. I don't think, Foxy, you can't actually stretch your head down. I've done them that tight. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Thank you for trying to bite me. I'm really sorry. She's gonna have a headache in the morning. Anyway, hopefully she doesn't try and buck me off. Or 
She maybe she won't go on the float. That'll be her. That'll be my punishment for tight, crappy plaits. <laughs> anyway, hopefully, oh, actually, I need to go hitch the float up. That's another thing. Yeah. All right. Maybe maybe see you. I don't know before bed. I'm not sure. Lycra hood, rug on, out, hitch the float up, per turn on the oven. Bob's your auntie's uncle. No. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your auntie's sister. Bob's your sister's brother. Oh, I don't know what the saying is. John knows it. Okay, see you guys. See you in a bit, maybe. Oh, why do you look like a demon? Whoa! How cool is that? Apart from the fact that it was super freaky and she looked like a demon, that is a tapetum lucidum at the back of the eye. That was pretty cool. Like, let's. I'm gonna try and like pause that and zoom in and then put it here again. Anyway, that's fair me. I look rough as. It's very late. I'm gonna go put some pizzas on. We're gonna eat, we're gonna go to sleep, we're gonna get up at like 4 a.m. So, <laughs> good luck seeing me at that time of the morning. I'm probably gonna look equally as rough or worse. So this is me now, and this is me in the morning. Good morning, it is five something, and we were meant to be out here at 4.30. We are so tired. So Foxy's in the stable. I need to try and clean out our stud holes. Feeds. I stacked them all up, made them last night. <clears throat> so hopefully we can, well, Amber's gonna run around and do that. While well, I saw Foxy out and we basically, I want to leave in half an hour. Not sure that's gonna happen, but I think I've estimated there's plenty of time. It's light, <laughs> the joys of summer. So all of a sudden I am going into my dressage test. Sorry, forgot to vlog. We nearly hit A when I first tried to enter, so I, try to enter again anyway so here's foxy's test i'm gonna put some music over because it's a little bit more exciting for you guys i was super super chuffed with this test uh but she did not mark very well so anyway there's that little bit of info at the start so i hope you can enjoy <music>
electricity on my head. Quick debrief on the dressage. Second time because Amber decided to cut me off. She thought it was boring. There was also a storm. We thought we were very lucky. We have missed it. We've walked cross country. We're heading home. And we thought we, there was not going to be a storm, but apparently there is. Anyway, Foxy warmed up pretty well, I thought. We went in. I was really pleased with her chest. Gave a big, big pat. She did, like, good dress up. No, good canter transitions. Good canter. If, if I was going to say anything, I'd say the trot probably wasn't forwards or active enough. Anyway, I came out and I thought, I'm really pleased with that. I'd like, I think, 65 minimum. And then I was like, but I'm secretly going to hope for more. And then we got the results. And we got, it was terrible. We got 59, which is just a really, I don't know, yeah, try not to be a uh, sore loser, but I'm pretty peed off, pretty disappointed. Anyway, she, Foxy basically got sixes for everything. She got one five for a medium walk and one 6.5. So that gave her a 59%, which is just crap. And I think was quite tough. Um, the judge clearly didn't like her and thought she, like Foxy can hold her neck in a little bit tight. And we're sort of working on that, trying to get her to self carry and be a bit softer. But they obviously just, yeah, they got their, their mindset on a six and that was it. So. Anyway, we were third in and since then the judge has, the marks have just increased in general, which sometimes happens. And so unfortunately, we, I don't know, the last time I looked, we were like 21st out of 26 or something crap, which is really quite rubbish. I'm quite sad because she actually did really well. Um, you know, like I said, not the best test she's ever done, but by far, like, I mean, I've done really bad tests and got 59 before but you know anyway cross country looked pretty easy didn't it Amber? Amber's hiding. Amber there's Amber <laughs> people don't know Amber this is Amber. Okay. Amber's my new working people she's hiding. Amber come there she is <laughs> anyway so we walk cross country uh, it's pretty the same as what we did in February so Fingers crossed and so I guess my main aim obviously is to go double clear but the show jumping is probably I'd like a really good show jump round I'd like a clear show jump round but yeah Foxy yeah, just it depends if I can get her to do her round like she did at Victory last weekend then that'd be fabulous so anyway who knows uh, we're gonna go home I'm not sure we're gonna, I don't know it's hard to know how quick the rain's gonna come in that looks pretty scary over there can you see Look, wait, let's show the, let's show the, oh, there's me and, can you see those clouds? I don't know if you can, there was lightning before, it's pretty scary, so, anyway, we're going to have to go and get Jet in, uh, some of Amber's horses, she only bought about eight, um, and then we'll, um, I oh know, we were going to ride Ben, and I was going to make Amber ride Weeper, that's Amber's horse, yeah, but, who knows so we're gonna unpack quickly shove the jump stuff in I've got to whip out Foxy's little travel starts uh, turn her out and yeah I want to go in and watch a movie basically that's my uh, idea of a good afternoon over and out I guess we'll see you maybe in the morning so I can't bother Auf oh my god, what a storm we had. We got a couple of horses in that we were gonna ride and it just kept coming, but I think we were quite lucky few people close by got mega mega hail so we were very lucky we're just turning the horses out now because apparently there's maybe only going to be like a tiny weeny bit tonight and then not an awful lot for the next week so that's exciting hopefully we're going to get a heap of grass there's already grass pinging up everywhere and then we're going to get mowing and have heaps to do but anyway for now we're going to feed Get in, have a good night's sleep, ready for tomorrow's jumping, which hopefully is a more successful day than today. Good morning, John. Good morning. 
Good morning, y'all. Sunday. Morning. <laughs> Everyone slept in. Well, actually, I didn't. I just didn't want to get up. Amber did not hear her alarm. And then when I saw her, she looked a little bit like Cousin It. And it was like, I'm sorry, my alarm took off. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, she is whizzing around with the feed. Foxy's having her breakfast. And then we're going to have the fun joys of not getting her on the float to do we're show jumping at eight something. And we've got to hopefully get a chance to walk the course. And then we've walked cross country. I'm not doing that again because pretty much the same. Just got to remember a few things. What I do need to figure out is the optimum time because couldn't find that yesterday. Then cross country. So seeing as we had a rubbish dressage school, my aim is, well, as clear as possible, I would love... To go cross country clearing inside time show jumping obviously i'd love clear but i know that foxy if we get it a little bit retarded we could knock some rails so if i get a clear show jumping well you watch out i might be a little bit uh happy on this video Fo foxy's not even eating her breakfast foxy oh i hope she's not feeling nervous she's thinking no more dressage please please no more all right that's all good i think she just she heard some boyfriends out the window. Well, she's got to munch quickly because we've got to go soon. See you later. Vivian. Oi, Nat. <laughs> this isn't a video. <laughs> Five, Nat. Oh, yeah, as a horse's spook. <laughs> Hello. So, Foxy was a very, very good girl going show jumping. She did really good in the warm up. She was super, every jump, perfect, good spots. And I was a bit worried she was going to do her best work in there. But, um, we didn't actually get to walk the show jump course either. And it was a little bit windy and bendy and the girl before me demolished number three and got eliminated just before I went in. And so I was a bit concerned that, well, I don't know, Foxy's pretty brave, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, go away, you um, So Amber's trying to film me, but she just cut me off because she thinks I'm rubbish. Um, so anyway, so we went clear. So I'm really happy, really happy. And not only did she go clear, she just, she was really rideable and got good spots and oh first first round I just felt really awesome so we're gonna me and Amber Amber won't be in the screen with me because she's like being all nervous um so we're gonna go get some breakfast at half past nine go watch some cross country and then we're gonna go cross country and we're gonna nail it you are aren't we Amber yes aren't we Amber yes. <laughs> okay bye so we are just double checking the end of the course Amber's giving me some tips, aren't you, Amber? Sure I am. She knows exactly what I have to do. Now you made me American. Oh my God. So number 14. Yeah. It's just this wood bit. It's like really confusing because there's all these trees and you don't really know which way you're going. Anyway, we're going to go and see Emily in the warm up and little Lucy on Halo. See if uh, we can, you know, interfere. And then we'll go and get Foxy's little studs ready. Um, yeah. Hopefully have fun on across of the country. Okay, we see you later. Bye bye.
gal. Good gal, Lace. Oh, she almost could have gone inside, actually. Nearly ready for cross country, and it is approximately 58,000 degrees, and I'm dying. Amber, are you dying? 100%. Foxy, you look so excited. Foxy's not happy with us at. <laughs> That's her basically telling us she's not happy. So, anyway, I'm gonna get on, hopefully, do a little warm up. I wanna try and get the time, but it is so hot, and I just feel so mean riding. So, anyway. We shall find out and hopefully next time we speak to you, we'll be clear and I won't be grumpy and sad that I did something stupid. So, <laughs> good luck to us. Bye. Done, Miss Foxy. We've made it home. Foxy did an amazing round cross country. She flew around like a pro. My main concern was trying to go inside the time because I didn't need to add anything to my rubbish dressage score after she jumped clear cross uh, show jumping. So. Anyway, I I also wanted to test her out a little bit because obviously I have grand plans for Foxy next year. Do you hear that, Foxy? I wanted to go prelim, go one star, maybe. See how we go. Anyway, so I just wanted to try and stick to the minute markers and, and she flew it. She just felt so good, so powerful, so fit. And we're flying along, keeping to the minute markers and literally the second last jump, I thought, looked at my watch I was like I'm actually going a bit quick so we were a bit fast um so yeah not really sure I don't know it's ended up that she is 11th clear show jump clear cross country with no time penalties I'm not 100% sure I know what the optimum time is Anyway, so I thought we would have had a few time penalties, but we don't. That might be wrong, but who cares? We're not going to place anyway. So, but finished 11th, um, and if they did it wrong, then it was maybe meant to be 13th. But I'm so, I couldn't be happier with this pony. I personally think she deserved to have a better dressage score. Fingers crossed she does a good dressage at Warwick. And Warwick, I think, is in two weeks. Crikey, that's going to come fast. And then we got a summer of training. And then Amber, who is currently making feeds. We'll, we'll go find Amber. She she um, was going to be in it. And then she wanted to put sunglasses on because she said she looks Chinese. I'm not sure about that. But, you know, here we go, Amber. Sam is making all the feeds up. And then we're going to get in fast, aren't we, Amber? Yes. Although we are tired. We are tired. But I'm, I'm on a high now and I really want to go and get some beer. <laughs> Amber can't have beer. She's not old enough. Just kidding, Amber's mum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's us done. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, you know, I don't know, maybe like it or subscribe. I'm not very uh, reliable at getting these videos up, so you might, you know, might be another one within this year. Don't know. Maybe Amber will get me to go and upload them while she, I don't know, feeds ponies or something. And hopefully you'll be seeing a bit of Amber and her horse. She's got two horses, so we'll try and introduce those and do a little bit of a, you know. Anyway, over and out, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye, Amber.